AM 970 WSTX. Kaiso! Come out and celebrate Crucian culture. A whole week of fun, no afraid to come out. And as you live here, you are Crucian. Come out. Crucian, I beg you hard. Who live here? Oh, I brought Crucian. I beg you hard. Who live here? Oh, from my brother. Time to preserve our culture and who we really are. The landmark society will celebrate our history. Come home to sing, cry. Come home. Come home to sing, cry. Come home. To see our families. Come home. To eat fish and fungi. Come home. Everybody together. That, that is crucial culture. All right, folks, there you have it. We're going to be here with St. Croix Landmark Society talking about come home to St. Croix. I want you to know it's not just about people away coming home. It's about people at home getting involved in, in this whole reconstruction of the big yard as well as the various exhibits and all the things. But, Doug, you're running about too much. Let me get my host here, my guests on here with me here. I'm going to host people listening to talk. <laughs> All right, go ahead and introduce yourselves and we move forward. Good morning. I'm Soraya Jacobs and I'm coordinating the Come Home to St. Croix 2017. Good morning. My name is Essence Carter and I am the executive assistant for St. Croix Landmarks and also assisting with Come Home to St. Croix this year. Oh, welcome back to WSTX as we talk about Come Home to St. Croix. I see you've got a well-planned out schedule of things coming up. <laughs> thank you so much, Doug, and thank you for having us uh, again. Uh, we know a lot of people listen to your program. Yes, we have a full list of activities, and I'm going to go through all of them right now, and we'll talk later. We'll discuss later. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's going to begin on July, Sunday, July the 16th at 2 p.m., uh, 2 to 6, we have the opening ceremony, ceremony to honor the ancestors, and um, libations will be done by Nana Kofi Boateng. Uh, we have a special memorial to Dr. Swen Holso, and um, he is a person that has helped landmarks for many, many years, and we'll have a memorial for him. He just passed uh, recently. Also, as part of that, John Hatcher McCollum essay. A competition. We'll have students reading the essays who participated in that uh, John Hatcher McCollum uh, competition. He also was a supporter of, is a supporter of Landmarks, uh, St. Croix Landmark Society. And um, following that, we'll have a roundtable discussion uh, with, we'll have a roundtable discussion with uh, Winifred Clark Hardy, Dwayne Howell, uh, the junior preservationists, and this is a group of students who are learning uh, preservation there at uh, Landmarks. And they also traveled to Denmark and they visited the grave of Alberta Viola Roberts. So we will have that on the Sunday. On the Monday, we're gonna have the follow-up of Alberta Viola Roberts and uh, all of the persons that come can uh, visit the Frederickstead and see where Alberta Viola Roberts lived in Frederickstead. So we'll have that on the Monday, and that's going to be from 4 to 5.30 p.m. On Tuesday, which is July 18, at 4 to 5.30, we have Places That Matter. And as you know, that's an activity whereby uh, St. Croix Lambert Society uh, takes you to different locations on the island that are of importance in our history. And here we're going to look at Ackless site at Sandy Point, and it's a pre-Columbian uh, site. For that activity, you have to pre-register. Uh, general public is $15, and Landmark Society members are $12. So that's from 4 to 5.30 p.m., um, that's a visit to Sandy Point, the Ackless site. On Wednesday, we have two activities. One is a place as a matter again. It's going to be Sandy Point Turtle Watch. And the cost again is uh, $15 for general public and $12 for members. Now, 
on that day we have a big huge activity and you're going to make it even bigger because we're inviting everybody to be there now this is our for our special guest a virgin islands cultural ambassador it's going to be from 6 to 9 p.m so you have a choice you have a choice of the places that matter at sandy point and you have Auntie Janice. You can honor Auntie Janice. This is Mrs. Janice Pemberton Tutine. She's a storyteller extraordinaire. She has uh, been a teacher for more than 30 years with the Department of Education. And uh, she's Virgin Islands culture in person. And uh, we're going to honor her. And for that, we're going to have so many people that are coming to present poetry to present dance, to present song, to present uh, stories, whatever you want to. Um, call us at 772-0598 uh, if you want to participate. And I know a lot of people want to, so uh, we may have to limit participation because we only have from six to nine and we want to honor Auntie Janice. We love Auntie Janice, so come and show her your love. Now, this activity is $10, only $10. And um, very shortly, like in a day or two, we will tell you about the sites where you can purchase tickets for the, this event. Um, and we know it's gonna be a sellout. It's gonna be a sellout. Um, okay, on Thursday, we have a panel discussion. It's entitled, The Next Century of Ownership, Investing in St. Croix. And uh, this is gonna be done by one of our local realtors. And uh, he is gonna tell you about properties that are available. There are people here on St. Croix. There are people who are visiting, who want to know, you know, can they get a piece of property? Can they get a home? Okay, he's going to tell you all about it. We're also going to hear from Jarvis Larson, and he's going to talk on restoring a vernacular structure. So we have, and we have a couple other persons that are going to be on that panel. Now that's going to be Thursday, July 20th from 6 to 8 p.m. Uh, again, adults are $10, and uh, children under 12 are, are 5 I mean, children under 12 are, are free, all above 12, $5. Okay, on Friday morning, what we plan to do after we tell you all about real estate and so on, we're gonna take you on a tour to see some of these real, real estate properties that are available. And one of the sites that we're gonna see is um, the George's Royal Inn, among others and Dwayne Howell is the proprietor there. And, um, you know, he's, he'll tell you about, you know, in terms of an entrepreneur, you know, how he developed the site. Now that evening, listen up, that evening at six o'clock, we have Quadrille. The band that's gonna be there is Pikey, Dimitri Copeman, and the Renaissance Band. And you know, that's a, a fine band that we have here on St. Croix. And from six to seven, we're gonna have Quadrille 101. For those of you who don't know how to dance quadrille, uh, Mr. Ernest Morris will be there uh, to teach you how to dance um, quadrille. That's Ernest Morris from Widea Cultural uh, Dancers. And then of course, after that is the Grand Quadrille from 7 p.m. until midnight. And on Saturday, you know that Landmark is known for its research and all that it does in terms of history, culture, and so on. So on Saturday, uh, you have the opportunity to attend three genealogy workshops. The first one is Family History 101, and it's a hands-on workshop uh, there's going to be a skit, little skit done, you know, showing you how to interview someone who doesn't want to be interviewed. Um, and the presenters for this, uh, this workshop is Mr. Jared Doward. He's a long time 
volunteer, <laughs> researcher, and helper with the St. Croix Landmark Society. Uh, so that's going to begin at 10.30. It's going to go till 1. The next workshop uh, following that is going to be Family History 201. And it's talking about when you hit that wall, you know, when you hit that wall where you don't know where to go anymore in, in searching for your roots. And so following that is going to be Family History 301. And it's called Reap the Rewards, Family Gatherings, Reunions, and Other Connections, you know, that have resulted after you have done your research and you found your roots, you know, some of the things that you do. So all of that is from 10.30 to 1.30 on Saturday, July 22nd, presented by Mr. Jared Doward. And uh, pre-registration is required, please. Pre-registration is required. Again, the cost is 10 and uh, children uh, above 12, um, under 12, 12 are free, right. sorry, no, <laughs> yes. No, no. Adults tend to, okay, I, I'm reading yes. it as. Yes, uh, we're, um, we're children, children all free, oh, yeah, oh, okay. yeah, sorry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah we, uh, we didn't update Mr. Dog over here, sorry. Okay. So well, children are free to all the activities, 12 and under, as long as they are and they have to be accompanied by the adults, please. So it's not like we take 20 kids and take them down there. No, 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 no. <laughs> and nobody is supervising, okay? Children have, have to be supervised, but they can come in free, under 12 years of age. Okay, and last but not least, on Sunday, July 23rd, we have the Old Time Family Day. And that's a grand finale. You know, we have uh, food demonstrations, food tasting. We have music by Pikey Copeman, the Renaissance Band. We have the Rising Star Steel Orchestra. And we have DJ Victor Edney, you know, he's very, very good DJ. And uh, we have games uh, sponsored by Rotary West, you know, the Wari Cog toy making. And we have also in the, under traditions, preparing the old time mask and lantern. And um, at the end of the day, then we have the poetry reading. Of course, you know, we will have Mr. Richard Schrader, we'll have Oyoko Loving and others participate in that. So this is the entire week of, of activities and we're inviting everybody to come and participate. And um, since I'm coordinating it, I hope, you know, a lot of people show up and make me look good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's a whirlwind tour of, of <laughs> what is going on. And uh, one thing I note here is that, uh, see there, I, I see on your information here that um, the grounds are going to be Wi-Fi friendly on the day that you have the genealogy workshops. Oh, yes. Thank you for reminding me of that. And yes. we're asking people to bring your laptops, please. Mm -hmm. Bring your lamp laptops, and it, you're going to be have access to the Internet um, while you're there. Okay, yeah, great opportunity to be hands-on with genealogy and to do a little thing on your own in the process also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, so we got a, a full set of activities from the 16th all the way down through the 23rd. All right, now um, I saw Auntie Janice uh, the other day. The no. other day is March... Taught you oh, when they had the program. Since then, she's been traveling. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure when she comes back, she, well, I think it's on Facebook, is it? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. She's up and down, I believe, in Europe at the moment and uh, just in, enjoying life. In which Italy. In, in what we all supposed to do, enjoy <laughs> life. And um, yeah, but she was there at the program there at, at Island Center and she did a story. Um, she did a story, Dog and Lion. Mm -hmm. Okay, and mm -hmm. uh, it was it was good, mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully we might get a little treat to another story in the process. But it's really more about honoring her, so she's gonna be probably more relaxed and, and, and enjoying. And it might be hard for her to resist, yeah. <laughs> but because yeah. she's such a hands-on and involved kind of, of person yeah. in in those type of things. But definitely, I know that uh, we're gonna be seeing uh, our storytelling culture bearers out there, the, yes. the bullies of the world, the Doc Petersons of yeah. the world, the, um, the Sedell and others. So I anticipate it's going to be a very, very 
uh, interesting uh, evening of reflection mm -hmm. uh, in terms of uh, all these people that, that know her and have been touched by her and been inspired by her yeah. when it comes to storytelling in, in particular. So definitely that is like a, a real highlight there in the middle of the week. Yes. All right, folks. Yeah. Just I just wanted to say a little bit more about her program. Uh, Mr. Willard John has accepted to be the master of ceremonies. Uh, for that, so it's going to be like a roast, toast, and honor um, mm -hmm. a type of affair. Uh, the class of nine, I think it's 1969. Her class of 1969 has been asked to to be there. Richard Trader, Mr. Richard Trader, has already accepted to be there. Sidel Peterson has accepted also to to um, uh, present, do a presentation. Dr. Eugene Peterson has accepted to do a presentation as well as uh, do a little bit of music. Um, you know, in the first, um, in the meet and greet part of it, mm -hmm. uh, Donna Ashiba Samuel has um, agreed to do a storyteller. Story yeah. um, we have some young people that have been influenced by her, Nikwanda Williams, Crystal Casey, Mandy's Casey. They're going to do a, like a Sarah and Addy, uh, a skit, and they're going to talk about how Auntie Janice has influenced them. We're also asking uh, the Morgan uh, College. Um, alumni um, that you know were in her class uh, to be there, the Department of Education family, especially Perby Larson and Juanita Gardin. Um, you know that's like Marie Encarnacion, Dr. Lauren Larson. All of these people are coming uh, there to honor her, to make a presentation uh, to her friends. You know, special friends she has like. You know, a couple of people that are, you know, she hangs with all of the time. Mm -hmm. They're, they're going to be there. Of course, the culture bearers and, um, you know, uh, last but not least, the family presentations. You know, family will speak to her. And also, uh, Department of Education board, uh, they're going to be there. Um, and so we have more. We have more that uh, to, to present there. Uh, we're trying to put together like a head tie fashion show, a, a cultural head tie fashion show, you know, the way they tell you when you're married, when you're single, and that kind of thing. Well, it's, it, um, it, it looks like, it looks like fun, it sounds like fun, and every reason to go out there and enjoy. You know, you go to some activities, and and you, you, they have things happen, and then there's a lull in between, and more things happen. This sounds to me like it's going to be non-stop <laughs> ramp <-back. laughs> So, folks, and and not just talking either, just playing entertainment mm -hmm. and have, having a, a great time. So mm -hmm. A lot of culture, a lot of celebration, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. right. And we have some exhibits. Uh, well, we have some other information that um, Essence Carter would like to share with you about some of the things that are going on with landmarks. Great. All right. So once again, my name is Essence Carter, and I am the executive assistant for St. Croix Landmarks. We um, constantly have education programs going on. Come Home to St. Croix is the big event that we use to celebrate our culture and our history. But then we also have things like Places That Matter, which you get a couple of those during that week. And we have culture and history workshops that take place um, even during regular museum hours. So when you come in and you are visiting on a cruise day or you are just in the neighborhood and you're a local and you want to learn a little bit about your history, you can come in and not only is it a museum, it's a living museum. You can get your hands into the culture. You can learn how to make homemade instruments, learn drumming, hear some carry soul singing. So those are a lot of fun things that we have going on. Also, we have our Discover St. Croix Camp that is going to be happening for the next two weeks. We still have open registration if students are interested in joining us. We have field trips planned, so they get to once again go around the island and see other parts of our history and culture, as well as fun activities to do there. They get to watch the candy making, do a little bit of instrument playing and singing as well. And then we also have our Junior Preservationist Program that we are starting up this week. Now this is for ages 14 to 18. 
Um, we do have some participants that are already in the program, but this is how you get a behind the scenes look at the preservation and culture going on. You can shadow some of our docents, some of our curators, people in our library to really learn the backgrounds of museums. Many times people feel like it's, it's just a big show on the outside and they don't know too much of the background hands-on things that take place. So if you are interested in history and culture, preservation, this is definitely a way to get your hands on and get a chance to see that for yourself. And also, um, Landmarks uh, usually has um, exhibits uh, there all the time. And um, right now we have uh, the legacy of John Charles Thompson, uh, that's 1810 to 1881, and documenting his life and those of his descendants. And um, we have also the African Venus of St. Croix, the story of Venus Johannes. And uh, this is a person who was never a slave. And um, we have the exhibit of the Middle Passage. It was curated by students of various high schools, and it contains visual um, and sound effects. And we also have the one you're familiar with, the Hasman horses, <laughs> the Hasman um, and has racing, the history of horse racing on St. Croix. Well, you know, cu culture is, 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 is so funny, okay? And I, I, I interrupt you here, okay. why are you talking about the Hasman, okay? Because I would be here with, with my young man, and he said, Daddy, it's, it, it's not dog, it's dog. <laughs> it's not horse, it's horse. Well, I'm sorry. They're going to be dog and house and cat and all of them, okay? So I can say it both ways. So I, when I go to the students and I, I tell them you have to be able to speak at least two languages, a street language and a king's English, okay? So people are sorry. I ain't letting go of my house, okay? Mm -hmm. And I'm watching my dog to make sure he ain't bite nobody and, and my cat keeping it, the mice them out of the house, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I just have to stick that in there. Yeah, no, thanks. And mm. we also have, of course, this is a new exhibit uh, going up, and we have Jared Doward, Joan Keenan, and Winifred um, Clark Hardy working very hard on this exhibit. Oh, also, Carol uh, Wakefield. And it's a new look at the forgotten life, a tribute to Alberta Viola Roberts, 1901 to 1917. And this is the story of little Alberta of St. Croix. Um, there's going to be photos and recollections. Uh, she died at the age of uh, 15. And she was buried in Denmark on the same day that her homeland, St. Croix, was sold to the United States, which was 1917. And uh, she was only four years when she was taken from St. Croix and transported to Denmark to participate in the Danish colonial exhibit. She was on exhibit, as was Victor Colonius, uh, in Copenhagen in Tivoli Garden in 1905. Uh, so you're going to see a new look at the forgotten life. That's a tribute to Alberta Viola Roberts. That's an exhibit. And folks, I, I, I don't want you to, to lose the significance just because it's an exhibit. Uh, Viola and, and the young man, uh, were taken from the Victor Virgin Cornelius. Vic, Victor Cornelius. Okay, had a, a little moment there. Um, Victor Cornelius and Alberta were taken as children. Let's go back to that time. You know, he had no jet. He had no big queen. Queen Mary ship is weeks on the water without their parents or anybody that they knew. They were taken from here with all the, the, the story behind it will be there for you to see and understand. For what? So that they could put them on display. Now, there's a lot to be said about this display, how humane it was, uh, as well as other aspects of it. But you know what? I'm not going to tell you. Come down and find out. Come home to your St. Croix. And if we can, we'd like to bring her remains back to St. Croix because she wasn't fortunate to survive childhood and live a full life. Um, Victor Cornelius uh, survived and, and, and thrived and, and is renowned in certain respects in, in Denmark. Um, but you could just imagine how traumatic this was 
And even though Victor survived, when you hear his story, when you learn about his part of the passage, uh, you realize that it wasn't easy for him either. Definitely learn about these things. So whether it is Miss Roberts or, or whether it, it is the other people that uh, the Landmarks Society brings to our attention, like uh, um, uh, Hubert... Oh my goodness. Hubert <laughs> Harrison. Hubert Harrison. Hubert Harrison. <laughs> Harrison. When I learned about Hubert Harrison, and I'm saying this is the, this is Virgin Islands history. I never knew this. I never heard of this. But well, folks, it's there. You can't say it. Don't know that it's there. So if you don't know, it's because you choose to live in ignorance. And I beg you, please don't do that. If you don't know where you're from, how you're going to know if you're there, much less chart a course of where you're going. All right, we'll take a break. WSTX. Right. We're back. WSTX, your community minded station, and we have Synchroy Landmark Society in the house talking about. Talking about that song home. that Derby yeah, plays. Yeah, come yeah, home to yeah, Saint Croix. Come home to Saint Croix. So, I, I I want a little bit more of that. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give that another little twist here because it's like you know I, you have to give kudos to King Derby how he comes up with these lyrics. You know, really something to be admired. He's another one of the cultural mirrors. I know he's gonna be there for Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh I brought Kushan, I'm begging you hard. Who live ya? Oh fam abroad. Time to preserve our culture. And who you really are? The landmark society will celebrate our history. From home to sing cry. Come home. Come home to sing cry. To see our families, to each fish and fungi, everybody together, that is crucial culture. Hey, so please come home. To know who you be, a country without a culture, have to suffer. Your food you eat is part of it. You know you from your music. Just say you're dead. There. Then we know who you be. Come home to sing, cry. Come home. Come home to sing, cry. Come home. To eat crab and callaloo. Come home. Can pork and dumpling too. That is our tradition from our long time generation. The Landmark Society have a week of activities. Our goal is preservation, heritage, and tradition, and our ancestors with workshops and lectures, storytelling and games playing. Come home to sing, cry. Come home. Come home to sing, cry. Come home. To drink guava berry. Come home. Saril and Mabi. Come home. With Tune and our Quell bed. It. For our young one and our newborn, the 
Don't be ashamed of your dialect You should talk it Ask Queen Mary Our dialect Free we Come home to sing cry Come home Come home to sing cry Come home Do we crank crank and mafia Come home Roast fish every Saturday Come home Everybody together That is Kush and Culture These are the landmarks society organizers All right visitors and those who live here family that have been away for a while you know and it's really it's really coincidental that there are a lot of family reunions going on around the same time yeah. and I think that it's great that we have the the emphasis on genealogy also to make sure that um, to make sure that people are, are become more aware of ways to document their family history and preserve it into the into the future yeah right? as a matter of fact there are two uh, reunions uh, going on that we know of that's the Incarnation Incarnation family reunion and the Roebuck family reunion which you know because Mary has been on the radio a couple of times uh, to speak about it and and Mary has been instrumental in this genealogy workshops um, and she will be there uh, <laughs> to help uh, Jerry Doward um, with the genealogy workshops but yes she can attest to that as to you know the importance of genealogy and the importance of, of research and knowing that information well uh, you know she's gonna be there Stan ain't have enough rope to tie her up out, yeah. out East End and, <laughs> and the JLM ain't strong enough to hold her she's gonna be there <laughs> yeah. you know that but so. as well we do invite other families to take that week with us that would be a great time for the children to experience some cultural games that they may have never played before to um, learn some of the different traditions that we have now taste some of the great food that is probably not on the dinner table every night but this is something that you can definitely experience when you come home to St. Croix. Yeah well definitely and and you say that there, there are a lot of family reunions that are going on without fanfare so to speak. Okay um, I recently heard that the, the Canagators had a little thing going on and how I found out about it is that somebody that who was supposed to come to a function a group of us who put together said well I can't make it this time because I said well, hey that's priority mm -hmm. yes. that's mm -hmm. priority because uh, you got you got to keep those family ties the families are growing 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 folks and it's important you know it's important more than cousins making dozens okay it's mm -hmm. more important than that. that's not the only reason but seriously folks uh, you know Simple little things. People have road rage and cussing out each other just to find out what we we spend. Yeah. You know, and uh, fortunately to laugh about. I'm talking about something that I know will happen. <laughs> laugh <laughs> about it afterward. You know. Mm -hmm. Well, the idea is to to not have it come about that way. We yeah. want them to meet, but we mm -hmm. want them to meet in a way that everybody's embracing their family, their culture, the 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 uh, the things that they grew up around, as well as the things that their grandparents and parents can also pass on. Well, you know. Hillsiders is another group that has mm -hmm. a reunion uh, around the same time of Come Home to St. Croix. Yeah, so it's, it's all around us, folks. Remember now, your your culture and your family history is only as good as what you do to preserve mm -hmm. it. Correct. Because if you don't do that, you'll lose it, mm -hmm. plain and simple. And we've, we've had un some unfortunate events uh, here on, on St. Croix with, with, with family when they didn't know it was family and these weren't the, the thing, kind of things you want to talk about mm -hmm. uh, in, in that sense and the, the remorse and everything afterward is, is we want to avoid that. Yes. You've got to educate your folks mm -hmm. about your family, who, who they are, the cousins. Cousins get together, have your little get together every now and then. I don't care who like who and who don't like who. Mm -hmm. You know, that put that aside for a minute because it's, yeah. it's more important than that. Yeah. Okay. So come home to St. Croix, the yes. 16th through the 23rd of July. Lots of stuff going on, folks. They, they highlight, and I'm saying for me, yeah. okay? Yeah. I'm saying for me. It might be different for somebody else, but yeah. the highlight is going to be the honoring of Auntie Janice. I okay? agree. I and agree with I, you. I tell you, you're right. You're going to have to call that list because everybody got something to yeah. say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the next thing is 
they don't know how to say it in two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking that. I was like, we might have to put a timer on uh, for a uh, couple uh, of the guests that we'll have. But uh, it's uh, all in great celebration. So yeah. that's the most important part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Two yeah. minutes, no more. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say three, but you, you're right. We're going to make it two minutes, no more than that. Because them that who tell you they want to talk mm -hmm. is one thing. But mm -hmm. when they get there, them they will tell you nothing you yeah. want to talk. <laughs> yes, that's true. But you know what? We have Willa John as MC. Uh -huh. And he going to police them. <laughs> he going to police them. Okay, good. He good. certainly will. <laughs> okay, good. He, good. he certainly will. Um, and he is so happy to be able to, you know, to be asked to be MC for that. He is just thrilled with that idea. And um, so he's looking forward to yeah. Well, you know, the, you, uh, essence, you were talking about the games and so forth, that's all, okay? Um, if a child don't know what red light, green light, one, two, three is, parents, you have some catching up to do. Because I, I can't think of too many parents, unless you come from away, you've got to know what red light, one, two, three is. All right? And that's as, as, how should I put it? <laughs> As ubiquitous in, in the Virgin Islands as now you have musical chairs. Yes. Okay? You can't know musical chairs and don't know red light one, two, three. That's the way I look at it. And if they don't know, we have to teach them. Okay? And that's how we used to have fun. And uh, in addition to the games, they even had some takeaways last time. So some games that the children were able to build themselves and take with them to play with later. So. We have some things in store for you all. It's, you're going to give some things and receive some things as you come to this event, and that's always going to be very important. You can feel free to give the museum staff, the docents, any of our committee members feedback as you're going throughout the event. That's a great way for us to learn and continue to evolve this. I recently learned that this started in 2011, so we are in our sixth year and we just wanted to seventh. seventh year I'm sorry we Come just to St. Croix started in 2011 yeah. so we are on our seventh year and I just want to continue to have this grow to a big family event I want all family and community members to be excited about come home to St. Croix and really have their whole family experience something all right well I'm, I am trying to do my part and I say that not that oh I'm so special or look that dog no not in that <laughs> sense just as to, to say to every parent out there, you have to find a way to do it. You have to find a way to do it. And sometimes the way to do it is to send them to a camp, like the one that you have in there. At, because I find that sometimes as a parent, when you try to tell them and introduce them, ah, I don't know about that. But then they go to somebody else's house. Like I had a child say they don't like... Um, egg sandwich. Mm -hmm. Then I c come to find out they over at somebody else's house and they're eating it up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I said, well, what's the difference for our eggs? And mm -hmm. it, well, it's who introduced it. Yeah, right. You know, and, and that's all it, it was to it. So when it comes to these these things, just like I talked about the, the cans and the pouring hole, making kite, tie-dye, whatever it is. You put children together with a different set of adults than the ones they see at home every day, and all of a sudden they are so interested. That's mm -hmm. why we have teachers, you know, mm -hmm. in, in, in that sense. But um, parents, you can't do it all yourself, and you have organizations like the Landmark Society to events like Come Home to St. Croix, their summer camp. All right, take advantage of it. If you have older students, the Junior Preservationist Program is always a good one. They actually contributed to some of the exhibits that we have now, um, especially the Alberta Viola exhibit. And I just wanted to reinforce what um, you stated earlier about the dynamics of this exhibit. Yes, these are exhibits, so you're going in to look at, you know, a story or read a story, but to think of a four-year-old taken from her home and moved into a completely different life. That is a dynamics and a, a thought that many people can't put into their minds. So these children were able to step back, 
not children, students, I apologize, were able to take a step back and really capture that experience. And so this is going to be a very dynamic exhibit for anyone to see if you are interested in coming to learn a little bit more of that story and history. And of course, that's going to be on the first day, which is Sunday, July 16th. It begins at 2 o'clock. And so as part of the program, you will hear from the junior preservationists about uh, what they learn about Alberta Viola Roberts, uh, what uh, help they gave for the exhibit, and also about their trip to Denmark. They were um, in Denmark just, I think it was in March that they were in, in Denmark, and they visited her gravesite on March 31st um, in, in Denmark, so on transfer day. Oh, so, um, you know, they will speak about this experience and the knowledge they have about Alberta Viola Roberts. All right, so you've got eight whole days, folks, from Sunday to Sunday of e events and experiences, wholesome, family-oriented uh, things to do and, and be involved in. And uh, if, if you don't mind, I'd just like us to do a, a little recap, just a quick recap mm -hmm. uh, uh, of the what's going on each day. No, no details, just a little okay. quick recap. Okay, so Sunday, July 16th, uh, 2 to 6 p.m., we have the opening ceremony. Um, we have Memorial to San Holso, the essay reading, and the round table discussion on Alberta, Viola Roberts. On Monday, we're gonna follow uh, Alberta Viola Roberts in Fredericksburg to the, her place of residence. On Tuesday, we have places that matter that the Atlas site is a pre-Columbian uh, site at Sandy Point. On Wednesday, we have uh, places that matter, Sandy Point Turtle Watch uh, at six in the evening for those of you, so you have a choice on Wednesday. And of course, on Wednesday at 6 p.m. to nine, we have honoring antique Janice. And remember, call if you are interested. Call if you would like to register for some of these events. The, the um, Sandy Point on Tuesday, pre-registration required, 772059898. But Wednesday, uh, the big grand honoring Auntie Janice. From 6 to 9, we're going to be letting you know soon where to get your tickets, and it's going to be $10. On Thursday, we have the panel discussion, the next century of ownership. That's from 6 to 8, and that's about uh, learning how, how to buy a piece of property or a house. On Friday, we have a tour of some of the real estate uh, property at and uh, at 6 p.m., we have the Grand Quadrille Dance with Pikey and the Renaissance Band. So don't, don't miss that. You know, that's an excellent band. Yeah, but you're fighting <laughs> some people like me who got two left foot. <laughs> you, you, you got to specify here because 6 o'clock, they, they're giving a, a Quadrille 101. Yes, for you those have to learn. <laughs> so we don't mash up nobody else. Yes, that's right. That's <laughs> and then right. 7 o'clock, they're going into the, the whole full-blown thing. I'm going to be on the Quadrille 101 myself. Okay, all right. <laughs> I good, think good. I need a refresher as well. <laughs> so I <should> be <laughs> well, I tell you, I was at the Quadrille Monday night, and it got a lot of who's ready to come out there. So definitely oh, yeah. us, us amateurs need all the help we can get. Yes, that's <laughs> right. So that's 6 to 7, and then 6 to midnight is the Grand Quadrille Dance. Yeah, okay. And uh, genealogy workshops on Saturday the 22nd, three workshops from 10.30 to 1.30. Remember to bring your laptops. And on Sunday, grand finale, all-time family day, food, music, games, traditions, poetry, all of that in one day from 12 to 5 p.m. 12 noon to 5 p.m. All right. So it's packed. It's packed. Yeah. Definitely lots to do and plenty to see. Mm -hmm. Stuff for the children, stuff for the older children, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Every child in the house will be taken care of, okay? I remember the call, 772-0598, and look out. Um, the tickets are going to be out for uh, two of the events uh, coming up, but call us. We need volunteers. Absolutely. If you are interested in volunteering, please give us a call. 
We like to take volunteers to help with um, organizing before and after the events. As well, we like to have volunteers set up in various spots during the event just in case any of our guests have questions or comments. They can take that time to speak with a volunteer. We can get you in the right direction. Fantastic, fantastic. Come home to St. Croix. All right. Folks, I want to stress, you know, the name says come home to St. Croix. This is your home, and home what is home, away from home, come home. Okay? And I'm going to tell you, if you they're away and you can't make it, you know, talk to some of your family here, you know, to hook you up with some of those nice things that Miss Tongue does make down there. At, at the, <laughs> the, you know, she demonstrates for everybody uh, at least at least once a week. Is she there more mm -hmm. than once a week? More than once a week. That definitely, Miss Miss Tongue. Everybody with a sweet tooth either know or need to know Miss Tongue. Absolutely. Because <laughs> when she show you how to take those green mango and shoot them down, and you know. At some point in time, I could see in these restaurant uh, shows that we have, these chef shows, they're mm -hmm. going to show you the Armstrong ice cream with a slice of that mango on the side, mm -hmm. okay? And people, uh, it's going to become an international thing. You're going to have to wait in line for Armstrong ice cream because the rest of the world are trying to get it so big sure. <laughs> Well, you no, have to wait in line right here, right now. You know, <laughs> it' gonna get worse. Though. But no, I it, I would love to see that type of international popularity for local made products. And uh, but seriously, folks, you if you haven't had a taste, you're missing out on on something. Okay, all of these various fruits that we have here and the things that we have artisans. I call in that artisans, the things that they do. <laughs> They're mm -hmm. artists with what they do. Absolutely. So. And one other thing that I'd like to point out is this year we aren't doing our night in the big yard, but we are planning to have some enhancements done to the big yard. So even if you remember what a big yard was like, hopefully we can, the new things that we're adding can just add to that experience. And that project will be led by Mr. Vegan Ellis, but we're definitely going to be making some enhancements to the big yard before come home to St. Croix so you can have some new things to experience with that. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, the time is, is getting short here, so I'm going to uh, make sure that we, we leave with something ringing in, in people's ears here. So, folks, it was so great to have you here. Thank and you so you. much. Thank you. I'm looking forward. You know, it, it, the, the, the 16th is still a little ways away. Two weeks. So, it's just here. That's <laughs> right. And uh, so if you have any updates along the way, yes. all right, uh, any progress you want to report, my doors are open. Whether Thank you can you. be here or whether it's over the phone or we do a little recording before for me to share with the people. Good. Definitely, you. definitely. But uh, I'm looking forward to it and, um, you know, and Auntie Janice and those stories have, have thrilled, frightened, soothed, yeah. and, and cajoled so many people yeah. over the years. So yeah. really, I'm looking forward to, to that event and to see all the faces that are going to come out for that event. Mm -hmm. All right. So with no further ado. Kaiso! All right. Come out and celebrate Kushan culture. A whole week of fun, no afraid to come out. And as you live here, you are Kushan. Come out. Kushan, I beg you hard. Who live here? Oh, I brought. Kushan, I beg you hard. Who live here? Oh, fam, I brought. Time to preserve our culture. And who you really are? The landmark society. Well, celebrate our history. Come home to sing, cry. Come home. Come home to sing, cry. Come home to see our families. Come home to eat fish and fungi. Come home, everybody together. That, that is crucial culture. Kaiso, please come home. To know who you be, a country without a culture, have to suffer. 
Radio Fútbol.